Okay, this is a comparison of um, Foxit and Adobe uh, for PDF reading. Uh, we'll do Foxit first. Load that up. Open up a document. Okay, that's that document. I'll have to change the view settings to do single page. Um, I'm also going to have to set it to fit to screen. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to switch it around. Okay, so there we have it. Switched around to uh, portrait mode. Um, and Fox is quite nice. You you can use kind of gestures to uh, change pages. So you just flick your thumb. Which is nice. Uh, if you want to read anything uh, in the you can't see, whoops. Go back a bit. You can zoom in like that. Move it. So on. So that's that's pretty good. Flip that back to uh, proper size. That's not bad. Uh, it's quite quick. Let's close this and minimise that. Okay, Adobe. Okay. Oops. Open file. Same file, to be fair. Okay, so that's that loaded up. I'm going to have to change the view as well to uh, set it to be single page. Set it to fit the screen. Okay, um, now Adobe, you could, there's no gestures or anything like that. Although, saying that, there, there is a kind of gesture, but it, it, there's something wrong with it. it. It kind of cocks up, which is a bit rubbish. Um, so the best thing to do with Adobe is just use the uh, scroll bar. Just hit the scroll bar once, you'll go down a page. Um, it's not too bad. But it's quite quick. Get some dodgy renders now and again. Again the zoom. It's pretty much the same. It's a little bit slower perhaps. A little bit. Not so good. Um, well, there you go. That's the comparison of the two readers. Um, personally, I'd go with Foxit, uh, just because it loads quicker, uh, it's lighter, and you've got a nice gesture page change. I mean, there's no nice transitions with either of these, where you know you'd swipe the the page and it would flick like a book. Um, I mean, like the examples that. Uh, JV is uh, posted, but otherwise, easy, easy, nice way to read a PDF on your new ebook reader.